everybody, I'm Matt Brock, and this is Guitar World's Tech Education. Ah! Our question today is from Scott Sandler in uh, Scottsdale, Arizona, and it's about uh, proper string stretching technique. A lot of people don't know how to stretch strings properly, and it's a pretty simple thing, okay? All you need to do is get the string on there and get it tuned up and stretch the string and retune it. When you first put a string on and you stretch it, the string is going to slack. It's going to go flat, okay? So if you put a string on, tune it to pitch, stretch it, and it's flat, you want to tune it back to pitch, stretch it again, it's going to be flat again, but it's going to be less flat. And basically you want to go through this process of stretching and retuning until you can retune the string, stretch it, and not get a lot of slippage on it. At that point, you'll know that your strings are in tune. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So the first thing you want to do is get your string on. Okay, so the first thing once you get your string on is you want to be connected to a tuner. You want to be connected to a stroke tuner, a boss tuner, um, any kind of half decent tuner is going to do the job. Okay? So what you do, like I've replaced the E string on this guitar and once you get the string on you want to bring it up to pitch. Now I'm, I'm tuning to uh, E flat on the low E string. It's a brand new string and I'm going to tune it up and what I'm going to do is stretch the string <clears throat> from the nut to the bridge. Okay, I like to use a two-hand technique where I hold it with my fingers, pushing one way, and I push down on the string in the opposite direction. I'm pushing up with my fingers and down with my thumbs. And I'm going to do the whole length of the string from the bridge to the nut. Then, once it's stretched, I'm going to tune it on the tuner to pitch and it's significantly it's significantly flat from stretching it. I'm going to do it again and the string's going to be flat again but less flat than it was the first stretch. I'm going to do it again. You can stretch any way you want whatever makes sense to you. This is just what's comfortable to me but I can tell you that this works. Stretch it again and because now it's not falling flat very much. Now it's barely falling flat after a full stretch. And what I do as a last thing, whether it's a Les Paul or a Strat or whatever, I like, to, I like to stretch the string right at the bridge and I also like to stretch it right at the nut because this is an area that we don't stretch when we're going up and down the neck like I showed you. So I'm just going to tug on it, push it down. I'm going to do the same thing back here at the, at the nut. I'm going to stretch it. I'm going to retune it, and I'm basically in tune. Now, follow that procedure on all your strings, and you will probably not have too many tuning problems. See it.